Hello, hello, welcome to Quantum Mechanics once again. In this video, we're taking a particle in a box in a three dimensional space. In the previous video, we actually tackled a particle in a box in a one dimensional space where we were able to find the wave function um, and the corresponding energies. Right? In this video, we're actually taking a three dimensional um, space. Right? The potential energy will equal to zero. Right, and these are the boundaries that correspond to that potential energy. And as you guys would know that the Schrodinger equation will take another form. You know, obviously the potential energy equals to zero. And the wave function that you are dealing with is in three variables, x, y, and z. You know, there are other um, variables like um, the spherical coordinates, you know, um, the uh, cylindrical coordinates, whichever one that is um, used, you know, for a particular problem that you might be dealing with, right? Okay. Right, in this video, we are actually going to solve um, the differential equation. We are going to use a very powerful technique called separation of variables. And then eventually, we are actually going to arrive at a point where we are, we are able to, you know, to write energy. Or it can be viewed, you know, as having, you know, in independent contributions from the variables x, y, and z. So now, first and foremost, in this technique of separation of variables, Firstly, we need to assume we need to assume that our wave function, which is in three variables, can be expressed in this manner. So, firstly, we assume that our wave function can be expressed as um, a product of three um, um, variables, which is in terms of x, in terms of y, and in terms of z, right? So that is the first um, 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 condition for separation of variables. And then secondly, we're actually going to do substitutions, right? Okay, let's just call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So we're going to substitute equation 2, which is the wave function, into equation 1 in the differential equation, in actually the Schrodinger equation. You know, so this is going to go like minus h squared. This is actually the Schrodinger equation. So partial derivative squared in terms of x. So in terms of y squared plus in terms of z squared. Then this will be acting on our wave function. You know. And obviously, it's going to equal to the energy multiplied by our wave function. You know, and then after we're going to continue, each um, partial derivative will act to the wave function. So it's x of x, y of y, c of c can just put square brackets there plus the partial derivative you know in terms of y x of x y of y c of c um plus the partial derivative squared in terms of c squared to x of x y of y and c of c okay all of this will equal to the energy multiplied by the wave function. You know. And then um, we are actually going to factor out um, the variables that are not um, affected, you know, by the partial derivative or, or the variables that will be treated as a constant. So here, y of y and z of z will be treated as a constant. And then this will be applied to x of x and then plus. Secondly, here, um, x of x and z of z will be treated as a constant. So it's going to be factored out. Hmm. Plus. Here, x of x and y of y will be treated as a constant. Oh, 
all of this is equals to the energy multiplied by the wave function right all right now step number three of separation of variables we are going to divide right both the right the left hand side and the right hand side by the separable separable form and in our case the separable form is is i of y and z of c so we're actually going to divide everything by the separable form all right and then our equation y of y c of c of x squared of x of x divide here by x of x y of y right plus x x Just want to divide everything by the separable form. Plus x of x, y of y. Then the square partial division is of z squared. By x right all this equals to e x of x right. also divide this by the separable form all right as you can see this and this will divide this and this um will divide you know is this will divide all of these will divide right and our equation will be like this that's a squared over 2m 1 over x squared x, x plus 1 over of y right plus 1 over z um in as much as i've written a partial derivative here um um, I, I was actually supposed to write a, a normal derivative because it's actually acting on one variable, you know, equals to e. So at this point, I trust you guys are seeing something. And this is the total energy, right? So we can just simplify this even further for clarity that as h squared over 2m um, multiplied by 1 over x I can just write this is this cause it's one variable can you see that and also the other one minus a squared over 2m energy in terms of y and dz squared c of c is equal to e of 
Excellent. Yes, so looking at this, what can we say about the total energy? Total energy equals to E of X plus E of Y plus E of Z. You know, so this is going to be um, the total energy. You know, and it is written as having, you know, independent contributions you know, from the three coordinates, um, from the x variable, from the y variable, and from the z variable. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So from the separation of variables, using a wave function that was a product of um, three variables, you know what I'm saying? Three, three functions that are, that were independent of their variables, one was dependent on x, y, y, one was dependent on y, and one was dependent on z, we're able to use that, you know, through separation of variables to actually show that the total energy can um, actually be written, you know, as having, you know, different contributions from the x variable, the y variable, and the z variable, you know what I'm saying? So, um, just a question, you know, as we are concluding the video as to what is... Um, what is the wave function of a particle in a three-dimensional box? You know, if you can, just write in the comments below. Um, and also, what will be the corresponding energies, right? What will be the corresponding energy, right? So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Do stay cool and... Um, I trust you enjoyed this video so if you've got any questions on maybe the separation of variables technique just feel free to comment below you know what i'm saying and i'll be glad um to help you guys so do stay cool